guys, we're back finally after a month. Long, was it a month? A month. We were off oh a gosh. month. I'm sorry for being gone for for a whole month. Um, a lot has happened in that month, and that's probably why we took so much time off. Uh, we had our big trip to to Italy, so hopefully we can show you guys some highlights of that. Not me. I was uh, yeah, there. <laughs> me and me and Liz and Fletcher and, and Liz's parents. Um, what it, we started a, a new business, so we officially started our orthotic lab. Um, so this is Radius 5, and Tara can show you a logo of that. So exciting. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to give you guys a tour of that as well. We have a new cropness that started with us, so Jeffrey has now started with us at both Waterloo Foot Clinic and Royal City Foot Clinic, um, which has been great. It's been so nice to, to have him start with us. And the reason why he started is because one of our practitioners is, is expecting a baby. Oh yeah, I guess they don't know no, that. Don't That's so exciting too. Yeah. So that is very exciting and, and we'll see when that happens. It'll be fun and exciting. Um, what else? Oh my gosh, what else has been going on? I feel like there's been a lot. So There's been so, so much that's been going on. So we've, we've also been trying to kind of build up videos. One of the biggest things that we want to do is make sure that we give shout outs to to everyone um, and, and try and do at least a shout out to, for every video that we post. Well, what shout we want to do is like you guys comment in the yes. comments and we're going to pick someone and we're going to give you a shout out in every video. Yeah. So if you want a shout out, comment on this video here. Yes, and, and then we'll we'll try and do that. The other thing is anything you guys want to see, we can always try and highlight too, or at least include in it, because our new videos are going to, one, include more stuff like this. Um, Lucky them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you get to see me and Tara a lot more. Um, but it's also going to, we, we want to be interactive with you guys and include more. I know I keep saying that, but it's something that we really want to try and do. Um, so yeah, and then stay tuned for, for more product development and things coming forward, because we have a lot that we're working on. We've been busy. We've been very busy. <laughs> so sorry, but we're back. Um, this first video for you guys is one of our first TNAs. So this is a video that Chad actually did. Um, we thought it'd be a great first video to highlight what a TNA is and something we haven't shown you guys before. So what a great way to kind of kick off season two. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe in the bottom. Bye. <laughs> I think anyone's judging us in their cars. We have a nail here that hasn't responded to any conservative treatment. Uh, multiple rounds of oral and topical uh, antifungals. Um, the nail is obviously not appealing. We want to get rid of this so that the patient can stop thinking and worrying about it. We want this to process to be eliminated. And so we have removed the nail in the past, treated with antifungals, and um, it has failed that treatment. So what we're gonna do is remove the nail kill the nail matrix back here so that way this nail doesn't grow back. So we've made all the attempts prior to this to salvage the nail but myself and the patient have come to a conclusion that we want this nail removed. So we will start by removing that nail from the nail bed. It's very, very soft. So you want to be careful that you don't cause too much tissue trauma. So you want to kind of lift it in, in little pieces. And you can see that this doesn't take very much, but the goal is, is that we want to get the matrix as well. So this nail is going to kind of come off in a piece. If you don't, if you notice that this margin here is not a full removal, so we will have to go back in there and get the rest of it. That's just because the nail is pretty flaky, so you just want to make sure that 
you get it all and don't stop here. Just get some gauze and clean it up. Nice fresh gauze. Okay, so I have a better visual. What's going on? Just watching the game at home tonight? Yeah. So you can see how soft this nail is. So you really have to do your due diligence and make sure. You are getting as much of that matrix as possible. Chanel switch to our curette. So you want to debride as much of the skin as you can. Just get it nice and flush. We're going to apply phenol to it anyway, but you want to make sure that you clean it up as good as you can. And we'll just get some fresh gauze and clean it up and see what we've done. So what we're going to do, you, you see this is nice and flat, we've got mostly everything out of the matrix, we've got everything out of the matrix, and in this corner, because these little salt guys here, still got a little bit in there.
So now we're going to apply the phenol. Now, before we apply, we do have a little bit of blood here. So we want to make sure that we get that as minimized as possible. So that way the phenol can go to work. And then you can apply. You doing okay? Yeah. Excellent. You let me know if I need to adjust anything on the bed, okay? Mm -hmm. Just make sure you're comfortable. So, at this part I'll use my curette again. Now that the phenol's done some work, kind of reveals where some extra tissue might hang out. We want to clear that out. This is really important because we don't want any little spikes of nail to start to grow back because then the patient will be in your office again asking you to do this again, <laughs> which you want to avoid. So as much as we like our patients, we want them to have a resolution with their problems. So make sure you get it done right the first time. You want to kill all areas of the matrix and the nail bed so that way you'll have skin growing and not any nail. So this is the most important spot to really make sure that you get the phenol in. Just because we don't want the nail to grow back from here. So at this point what we're gonna do is apply 70% isopropyl alcohol to neutralize the phenol. It's always important to kind of get the whole toe 
just in case you've, and the neighboring toe, why not? Just in case you've splashed a little of that phenol somewhere it shouldn't have been. Always be careful. So just try to clean everything up, make it look nice and nice and clean there. So there we go. There you go. Total nail avulsion with matrixectomy after many failed attempts with conservative treatment. Uh, the post-operative advice for this patient: it's going to be painful and achy for a couple weeks. You're going to have this exposed nail bed. You're going to need to apply fusidin cream or an antibiotic cream, gauze, and a band-aid. You change that dressing one to two times a day depending on how um, overworked it is. And then you're going to want to have some routine follow-up appointments in the next weeks to follow to make sure that there's no infection and that the patient's satisfied and having as minimal amount of pain as possible. Cheers. Go Raptors. <laughs>